Welcome back to the Unbound Unplugged podcast, episode 27. Joined by Michael today, not just solo, not going as solo. Um, we're going to do a podcast, a bit of a rant, very short, sweet, and fast podcast about briefing. The importance of briefing. Got a little quote here about paying attention and one of the things that we find during the briefing is people's lack of attention especially in the morning classes where people are tired they've come in or even really late at night they've come off work they just really just want to get a workout done and get home but the importance of the briefing really makes up the rest of the session and the intent of why we program things and why we're doing things but the quote is that it all boils down to paying attention to details one accomplishment in life are an accumulative effect of their attention to the detail in front of them so uh, that's going to really start off our session today and our our podcast but Michael what are the biggest things that you see from people who don't pay attention uh, and they come to you during a workout you're going to get questions so if you look at success in outcomes it's going to be visualization and planning the briefing allows visualization and planning of a session so while coaches run through things you can start to play things out in your mind. You can start to visualize the, visualize the weights you're going to use. You can start to plan things ahead of time. And then it's just execution from there. It's an opportunity that people kind of miss out on or they don't value. But if you took it outside of the gym, so if you look at business, um, if you want to be successful in business, it's the same process. You just need to apply it to your training. You just can't expect a good outcome if you're just not paying attention or you're not you're not planning and going into that session. It's just going to be what it is. Yeah, and obviously attention in the detail is going to be key. So when you're listening to a briefing, it's like we're not just saying things because we want to say them like we're saying them because we want to get a particular point across or make sure that there's an intent that you understand or you know because at the end of the day you look at a workout and let's say it's like a hundred burpees for time and you're like oh my god why am i doing a hundred burpees for time well if you listen to the warm-up maybe there's a specific reason maybe we're training for an upcoming competition maybe the opens around the corner and it's known to have a lot of burpees or it's like th- there's always a reason of why the madness is there it's it's not just there because we feel like hurting people and we're like ha 100 burpees that'll get them there's there's always an intent behind the programming whether it's a progression or whether it's building you up or conditioning you for something whether it's physically or mentally just understanding why something is programmed it's always going to be in the briefing and the details are always there it's just that you maybe you're not listening or maybe you're not looking for what we're trying to say yeah the reason the sessions become chaotic and the results are, are not consistent is because you're missing the first two steps you're trying to go straight straight to step three step four you, you're not planning, you're not visualizing and you're not executing. And the person who's doing that is the person who's accomplishing more from the same scenarios. They invest the same amount of time. They invest, the, they do the same sessions. They just get better results. Their attention to detail is just better. Yeah. And like, I know I'm harping on it a little bit about it, but it's just something that we notice quite a lot and it comes up, especially especially in the early and the latest class, the first and the last class, because, you know, people just got out of bed and it's like the last thing they want to do is just listen to a big ramble. And yes, there is some onus on us trying to make the briefing engaging, make sure that it's not too long where it's dragged on and people were just like, oh my God, like, are they ever going to end or can we just start? That's kind of why I've, with my personal briefing strategy that I start with the workout in mind, the workout, then I finish with the warm up potentially the thing with the most importance the thing that requires the most understanding of why we do certain movements and it's also at the last point of the briefing where it's going to be the freshest in mind for those people who are just about to do it and this is my argument against is why i always do the workout first is because it's the first thing that people read when they open up waterfy no one opens up waterfy and is like god what's the warm-up today i can't wait to do some more pigeon stretches or some hamstring sweeps no they look exactly what they're going to do for the day so they already have kind of an idea of what it is they just might need a little bit of an explanation of how it flows or how we expect them to perform certain movements anything else that you have on briefing and how people can pay more attention or what they should be paying attention to just get it earlier so the guys that tend to do really well they're the ones before the coach calls the class in they're already out there they already have their rope with them they already have their towel with them anything they need for the workout they have that they've done their planning ahead didn't take them long took them maybe two minutes to look at the workout see what was in it and then they come in and during the brief, they go through that visualization, they're planning during the warm up, they go a little bit more in depth into planning how they're going to execute the workout, what they want from the workout. 
and then the rest takes care of itself yeah and that doesn't mean don't ask questions like there's always times that you can be confused or maybe we just didn't explain something uh well enough that you can understand it so always be willing to ask questions but that's going to cover us that little rant about briefing why you should listen and why you should pay attention to the detail that's episode 27 covered off i hope to see you guys on episode 28 see you then